students, today please look in your green book, page five. We will study adjectives, worksheet 1F. Here we will learn what is an adjective. Okay, an adjective describes a noun. What is a noun? A noun is a person, place, thing, an or animal. So in a sentence, if I'm talking about a doctor, a doctor is a person. Now I can say the young doctor. Young is an adjective. It is describing the doctor. Or I could say the tall doctor. Tall, young, old, short. They are all adjectives and they're talking about a person. So exercise A says place the following words in alphabetical order. Students, this is alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G starts with A first, B second, and Z is last. So if we have to put these words in alphabetical order, we need to look for any words that start with an A first. Students, do you see words that start with A? No. But we have many words that start with B. Bush, blossom, bulb, bird, and bud. These words all start with B. So we need to look at the letter to the right, beside it. Okay, so we have B-U, B-L, B-U, B-I, and B-U. So the first letter is B, it's the same. So we look at the second letter and I comes first, before U and before L. So that is why bird is the first word in alphabetical order. The second word is BL because L comes before U. So let's write here blossom. Now we have three words with BU. So we need to look at the third letter. Here we have S, L, and D. D is the first alphabetically. And the next one is bulb. So this is alphabetical order, students. We've finished the B words. Now let's look at the C words. Do we have any C? The first letter is C? No. Do we have any D words? Yes. We have two D words. We have dirt and daffodil. D-I and D-A. A is before I, so we will write daffodil. then dirt. Do we have any E words? Yes, earth. Okay, do we have any F words? Yes, we have fish and flower. F-I and F-L. I is before L, so we write fish for number 9 and flower is for number 10. So students, I want you to finish this in alphabetical order. Next you need to look at G. Do you see a G word? No. H. Do you see an H word? No. How about I? Yes. Insect. So, insect. 
So now you need to finish, go one by one, and write the words in alphabetical order here. Okay, students, exercise B. Match each word with its opposite. What is opposite? Okay, opposite is cold, hot, short, tall, black, white. These are opposite words. Example, clear, cloudy. So all of these are adjectives. So you would say the sky is clear, means no clouds. The opposite is cloudy. The sky is cloudy, many clouds. So these two adjectives are opposites. What is the opposite of sunny? Hmm. The opposite of sunny is rainy. The opposite of bright. Okay, so what is bright? This paper is bright green. And this is not bright green. So bright green, not bright green. So we have the opposite of bright is the word dull. The opposite of bright is the word dull, D-U-L-L. -L. So here we need to find the word that's opposite for beautiful, large, hard, round. The opposite for round Okay, round means circle. So you need to find what is this word? Colorful means lots of color. Okay, so find all of these opposite words and write them here. Exercise C, unscramble the sentences. You can look at page 208 and 209 in your black Oxford picture dictionary. Example, stands, paints, a and a beside man the picture building. I need to look at these words and make a sentence. Always look for the capital for the first and look for the period last. So a man stands and paints a picture beside the building. Number one, the capital is here, ah, and the period is here, so I'm going to write that at the end, dear. So we need a subject, and do you see the deer? Here is a boy, and the deer, and this word is point, so a boy points at a young deer. Or you could say a young boy points at a deer. So you can use young for an adjective for deer or for an adjective for boy. Number two, we are looking at these people, elderly. Elderly means old people. Number three, you are looking at the pond, the ducks. Number four, you are looking at the trees. These are the trees. These are the trees. Oak tree, willow, elm and ash tree. You can write a sentence. And the next we are looking at the butterfly and the flowers. So you need to make a sentence there for number five. 
Okay, students, take a picture of page five and send it to me. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.